Congratulations on season two of Loot. I'm literally obsessed. All of your characters have such like unique storylines and that's really the best thing about this series. You know, here at GLAD, we aim to amplify inclusive storytelling. And Michaela, Sophia is such a strong and beautiful character. Why do you think it's important for us to see women like you as leaders? You know, I think it's so important because not a lot of girls have figures out there to see a woman climbing the ladder even while she's already second in position. And to also see that it's achievable and possible, right? I, that was my main goal when I got cast for this role. I didn't want to necessarily just be a biological woman's role or, or a trans woman's role. This is encompasses all women around the world and showing that young girls around the world can achieve this and also can have tenacity, can have grit and a little bit, you know, of attitude with it, you know? I mean, Sophia, she's a well-rounded character. I also think she needs a lot of work for herself. I, that's why the writing is so great. Cause I look at her and I'm like, girl, if it, if it were me, honey, I would be on your shoulder telling you, you gotta loosen up a bit, <laughs> you know. But it's she's a good, yeah. she's a good figure, and I feel like a good role model for a lot of girls out there and showing them like it's capable. Yeah, absolutely. I was literally living for it personally. As as a girly that needs the inspiration, I was like, yes. I was like, yes, Sophia. <laughs> and for honestly, for all of you, what elements of yourself did you try to bring to the characters? And what do you think the audience is going to be most surprised to see from all of you this season? Uh, for me, I just try to bring my sense of joy and positivity to this character and what also being realistic and, and calling things out when they need to be called out uh having a genuine love i think that's my one of my favorite relationship is howard's with with molly and the fact that he loves her unconditionally and loves her for as a person and not as a, a purse not as a source of money but at the same mm -hmm. time has no problem calling her out when she makes a mistake or when she's making bad choices or going against her moral compass and i i like that in a character like howard who is willing to just be open and calls it like he sees it and doesn't care about the repercussions um so that's what i try to bring with it yeah i would say i mean uh arthur is this sweet complicated man and you know sort of going through a lot of different things in his life um i can certainly connect with a lot of the flaws that he has uh but I guess what I admire about the character and what I try to remind myself when I'm playing it is that it's always just as good to be a good listener as it is to be a good communicator. And I think uh, his sensitivity towards the other characters on the show, we we get a glimpse of that with, um, you know, Ron and I's scenes this season. And obviously like my, my scenes with with Maya also sort of exemplify that characteristic, I think, of Arthur just being sort of a, a trusted listener and a sensitive, you know, responder as opposed to somebody who's, you know, needs to take over the room with their attitude. And and I admire that about them. I, I try to give a little myself to that and also be reminded to be that way in real life. Yeah. What about you, Miguel? I mean, I would say it, I realized, you know, Sophia does really tr work closely with Molly a lot, but she also has a unit that she's been with for clearly a long time, which is her colleagues. And I I love that that is conveyed through the television screen. I try to achieve that in real life with my friends in real life and also each and every last one of us on the set. It's good to see that even though we have someone who is the head boss, Miss Molly Novak, there is still a foundation under her that is willing to root her up. and. Everybody needs that, you know? My, and what we all say is Maya comes in so beautifully and she's able to really convey a character that has billions of dollars, but has this beautiful heartwarming delivery of this character. It goes to show that there possibly are billionaires out there that are like her, that you can change their mind around and teach them something new and tell them like, this is how we can help in changing the world if you can change your pockets and use it for good. So like. I hope that's like conveyed through the television screen. Yeah, definitely. That definitely transfers. Oh, well, thank you all again for your time so much. Season two of Luke comes out April 3rd on Apple TV.